filling up to uh, go get rid of some aphids. So I'll need my fence line nozzle on. But put on some new uh, flat fan tips. Try to get good coverage. I'm just spraying insecticide. So I'm uh, going to put on 15 gallons to the acre. But uh, using Ravage. It's only uh, 3.2 ounces per acre, so it's only uh, one and a quarter, one and a quarter gallons of insecticide with 750 gallons of water to spray, to spray uh, 15 gallons. So, so pretty low use. That's, that's pretty darn simple. But. So uh, yeah, getting getting time to get this done. Anyways, there just every time I look, there's more and more of them out there. So glad to do this, get this done. This the sprayer doesn't work the best when it comes to uh, doing tall plants because that axle sticks out there. I don't know. I'll try to. It's hard, but drive on tall beans like that but, uh, I make it work so yep. so I we got that stirring here uh, just thought I'd get out and take a look um, generally they're on the newer leaves um, yeah here's all them little oops. And little buggers on the stem and so but they just I think it's been I don't know how many years ago we had uh, we had aphids it's the first year that we had them the plants were just solid with them and we thought oh we'll take our chances and we had potential for 50 bushel beans and we got 30 so we learned after that I think we've sprayed every year since, so we'll, uh, should be stirred up, so we'll get at it. All right, well, I haven't set up my rate yet. Uh, you know, rate one, rate two on this. Um, go in and enter, go 15, enter. So now if I have the switch, uh, it'll automatically put 15 gallons on. Uh, that one was at 16. I guess I don't really care what that's at. But, uh, so we're gonna go here. We're gonna enter 750 gallons. And yep. Not that I can't look back and see what I got, but then I can just look at the monitor and you know when I'm getting close to out, have a better idea how many gallons that I have if I put on there how many gallons when I start, so, uh, field area, we're going to change that, zero, so that way when I get down we can record how many we did, and so, yep, pretty simple. No, oh. still feeling the tire lines out here. Yeah, they're pretty tall here. Like I said, the sprayer's a little hard on the beans. That's what I got, so. Let's see right where I've been. <laughs> yeah, I better pay attention here. That's not it. A little clip here. Yep. Well, welcome to my best beans. Pretty excited about these, but it's uh, not real happy with the dicamba. We've got weeds popping up all over the place. Although this is heavy weed pressure, but I spent a lot of money in weed control to have weeds. Oh well. Pretty nice. 
well, except for up here where they're uh, we're getting a, a wind farm basically up in this area and uh, this landlord gave easement and well, it looks like I get a hit one of their freaking things basically this whole corner is going to be gone because they got seven uh, underground wires going through here so it's kind of disheartening or it's really disheartening to uh, see your crop getting mowed over but this 80 of corn over here I don't farm it but I feel for them guys that's bad holy moses look at these suckers myself six dollars six seven dollars an acre I'm saving so yep I'm here on the home farm I'm getting a windmill here pain in the butt we got a little over three acres ruined already and by the time they put their lines in here going out to probably have at least five. Big pile of dirt there. And then there's a road that runs across here. So if uh, you're thinking about putting a windmill up or having giving them easement for the windmill, I we might do a video on that or something. Let's see there's a couple stakes here, these are gonna be lines. Lines. Running across here, so all these beans will be gone. I'm mowing them over. And this is the road up here. Now, how impressed I am so far. That's what it is. I'm trying to navigate the sea of beans. Can you tell where we're going? Oof. I'm actually not even running too many over. Maybe now I am. There they are. Six of them there anyway, so. Dirty buggers. Maybe they, uh, Sacrosite here will help them grow big and strong. Stupid frickin'. I'm starting to burn up down here, too. I don't run over one of those coyotes. All right, well, I guess that about does it for this one. Um, just got one farm left, and uh, hopefully be able to put this thing away for the year. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.